What is Gender Responsive Budgeting or GRB? Let's start by imagining a situation. Suppose the government decides to spend money on an employment program. It designates work sites and sets up training centers. But it does not allocate enough money to build creches for children, provide buses for commuting, set up public toilets or install street lights. What happens? A lot of men apply for the program, but few women do. Government programs and budgets often end up ignoring the differential needs of women and other persons of marginalized gender and sexual identities. Women have experienced a lot of social, political and economic advances. Yet, many issues remain. Only around 25% of women in India participate in the labor force, compared to 58% of men. 53% of Indian women of reproductive age are anemic. 33% of Indian women report having suffered some form of domestic violence and only 14% of women who suffer any physical or sexual violence seek help. Experts suggest that at the current rate, it will take more than 135 years to close the gender gap globally. Women and gender minorities often do not have equal access to the benefits and opportunities created by economic growth and development. One way of addressing this problem is Gender Responsive Budgeting GRB. Let's find out what Gender Responsive Budgeting is. Gender Responsive Budgeting GRB, is a way to ensure that governments allocate and spend money in a way that it recognizes the needs of women and persons of marginalized gender and sexual identities, removes barriers they face and improves their status. In other words, it's a way of making governments better equipped to achieve gender equality. You may be wondering, Does this mean two separate budgets, one for men and one for women? No, there will still be one budget. But that budget will be planned in a way that its benefits are equitably distributed between persons of different gender identities. Okay, so GRB changes the way the government makes its budget. Yes. But not just that, through GRB, the government pays attention to the needs and experiences of women and gender minorities. Before the budget, when they plan their programs and after the budget, during implementation. I understand. But doesn't the government already have schemes for women, transgender persons and other marginalized groups? Yes. But as shown by the statistics we mentioned earlier, more efforts are needed to achieve gender equality. Existing schemes may not be enough to address all gender challenges. Also, the schemes are usually limited to certain sectors like health, education or protection. A holistic approach is needed so gender issues can be addressed across sectors, whether it is agriculture, transport, housing or climate change. Let's explore how gender-responsive budgeting is carried out globally. Over 100 countries in the world have adopted GRB in one form or the other. Here are some commonly used GRB tools. Dedicated institutions or committees within the government that work on making budgets gender-responsive. Legal provisions making it mandatory to earmark a certain part of the budget for women, transgender persons and other marginalized groups. An annual gender budget statement which presents the funds allocated for women, girls, transgender persons and other marginalized groups. Trainings to make government officials more gender sensitive. Collection of gender desegregated data to monitor impact and improve the design of government programs. Does India practice gender responsive budgeting? The answer is yes. In the early 2000s, India analyzed union budgets from a gender lens and set up a subcommittee on gender budgeting. In 2005-06, India brought out its first gender budget statement. Such a statement is now brought out every year. In 2007, India began setting up gender budget cells within union ministries. Since then, there have been initiatives to evaluate expenditure and budget outcomes from a gender lens. Many trainings have been held to orient officials towards gender budgeting. Over 20 states have also started their own GRB initiatives. 
some positive outcomes of gender responsive budgeting can be seen across India. For example, Kerala has successfully improved its women's workforce participation rate by implementing targeted initiative for women's employment and sensitizing government officials towards women's needs. The gender budget statement GBS is one of the common tools used to implement GRB. You must be wondering what the gender budget statement is and what it contains. In India, the GBS is published every year with the union budget. It can be found under statement 13 of a document called the expenditure profile. It has two parts, A and B. Part A shows the budget for schemes which are only for women and girls or schemes with 100% budget allocation for women. For example, Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao. Part B shows a part of the budget for general schemes which is earmarked for women and girl child. This could be between 30 to 99% of the total scheme budget. For example, part of the budget for MG Narega. You can access the gender budget statements of the union government as well as state governments on Open Budgets India OBI portal. It is an easy to navigate and useful portal as it provides all these documents at one place. We hope we could highlight some important concepts related to gender responsive budgeting through this video. We will be developing more such videos in the future to discuss more concepts related to GRB. Thank you for watching this video.